Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Kirkwood Gardens, the Squam Lakes Natural Science Center. And I always thought of bees as living in a hive, but here to explain to me that that is not the case is Rachel Massini of UNH Cooperative Extension. So what is this? Bees aren't, aren't hive creatures of the hive? Not all of them, Ray. Um, actually, you know, everybody's familiar with the honeybee. Those are definitely hive dwellers. But um, there are hundreds of native and non-native bee species in New Hampshire that utilize either cavity nesting or the ground. Okay. So today we'll talk about that. All right, so we're talking about that and we're talking about how to attract more bees, I guess, and, and why do I want to do that? Well, the more bees you have, the more pollination you're going to get. So, and we're trying to re, re um, populate, let's just put it that way. So. Okay, so I'm familiar with a bat house. Here we have next to you, what do we have here? This is a bee nesting site. So basically what it is, it's, a, it's wood. It can be either soft wood or hard wood, either one, but you want to make sure it's not pressure treated. Okay. And so we're going to um, drill a variety of different holes because as you know, bees come in different sizes and our leaf cutting bees and our mason bees are larger and they prefer um, sites like this. So are these individual creatures, individual bees? They are, they're one? solitary. So they're not in the big colonies as we would think of a honeybee. So they don't play well with others then, huh? No, not so much. <laughs> they do, but yeah, not in this case. Okay. So the nesting box here, there's a variety of holes and you want to use a drill. You can, it's between one eighth of an inch to a half an inch. But some of the larger bees like the um, blue orchard bee prefers a um, 5 16th inch hole. Okay, so now where do I want to put this on my property to attract these bees? This will be either the holes you want to either face east or southeast and you want to make sure that you know as the sun's later in the day it's shaded. Okay, so, so it doesn't get too hot for them in, in there? Okay, and uh, is there a number, a set number or set size, anything like no, that? No, you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want, but um, just make sure it's got some kind of roofing on it because that will protect it from um, rain. Okay. And also you want to make sure that it is about five feet up so it's not keeping moist being down in the ground level. And we are talking a box here, so it's hollow in the center? You just cut the little... Yeah, one. basically it's a piece of wood. You do not want to penetrate all the way to the back. Um, you want that um, back of the wood to definitely be intact. And depending on the size of the hole, the smaller the hole, five to six inches in depth, the larger the hole, it can be deeper. Okay, so in case we went over this information a little too quickly for somebody, what should they do? We have a handy fact sheet. We have sheet, a fact right? sheet that you can get at the um, Extension Center or the info line, and you can call them at one eight seven seven ext grow And attract some of those solitary bees to your garden. That's it for today's Grow It Green.